Hey guys, it's Jenny, and I know it's already February, yeah, but I still wanted to get on and do a January favorites video because I've got some really fun things to show you, so I'm going to dive right in. Okay, I know I just made a big deal about doing January's favorites in February. I won't say it like that the whole time. And uh, then, you know, I did this whole spiel, and I don't have a January accessory favorite. Sorry, I probably could have made something up, but I want to be honest and pure. I got this really fun set of jewel tone stacker rings from Target, and I got them for Christmas. I've never had stacker rings before, and they are so much fun. I don't wear them all, but like wearing one or two that just coordinate, or if I'm wearing sort of a, I don't know, like a black or a gray and do like this bright pink or this blue. It's really fine, so. Peace! My scent this month is from One King's Lane and it's their Wild Current Candle. Oh, it smells so good. I don't burn this one. What I do is I have a coffee cup warmer that I keep and I'll just melt this over and over and over and over. And then every time it cools down, it just rehardens. And that way, oh, I can't stop smelling it. I can smell up like a whole room. And I don't have to worry about like an open flame. Yes, I know it's like molten lava wax, whatever. But I like to do that a lot with my hiring candles where the fragrance goes all the way through instead of burning them. Um, that way they last longer. I don't have a favorite shoe this month. I just wear my ratty old tennis shoes and flip-flops and junk around the house, so sorry. I know I'm going to sound like a slob, but these Danskin yoga pants are amazing. I got them at Walmart, and they're the ones that say boot cut in the back of the band. <gasps> I could live in these quite happily, I'm telling you. So, definitely my favorite this month. Okay, I know sometimes I say I'm a hoarder, but I really wish I would have hoarded more of this tea, my next favorite, because I believe it is only seasonal. The Nutcracker Sweet by Celestial Seasonings. It's so good, and I only have two bags left, so I'm trying to, like, savor it. Oh, it's so good. I hope they have it all year. It does have caffeine in it, so I drink it in the morning instead of coffee. It is so good. And I've been doing it all English style. I've been doing milk in it. I fix it just like I fix my regular coffee, and this stuff is so good. If you can find it, it is worth it, if you don't mind caffeine, which I don't. Okay, so let's just pretend it's January and everybody's doing their New Year's resolutions, and you know, oh, I'm going to get thin, oh, I'm going to save a bunch of money, oh, I'm going to... Whatever. Um, well, along the money-saving line, can't help you with the thin parts. <laughs> Mint.com. You can set up budgets. You can enter uh, to where it does payroll, um, checking accounts, credit cards, savings accounts, and it shows you end of the month like a pie graph, and it will send you a text alert when you're getting close to exceeding a budget that you've, you predetermined. So it's not, you know, anything crazy. I love it. So I'm going to link mint.com down below and I highly recommend it. <sighs> Downton Abbey. It's not Downtown Abbey, Judd. It's not. Oh my gosh, I absolutely am obsessed with this show. One hour is not long enough. I need it to be at least three hours long every week and never take a break and go on forever. I love it. Um, I want a British accent. I want to dress for dinner. And the one-liners in this show, between Downton Abbey and Big Bang Theory, it's like the best one-liners on TV, hands down. So definitely, definitely check out Downton Abbey. Um, and it's on PBS Masterpiece, and they are showing older seasons, so uh, just, I think you just type in pbsmasterpiece.com, and you can watch older episodes. It's phenomenal! Ah! This is my little secret weapon for mascara, and it's dirty because I used it today. 
so don't freak out. It's a gum brush. I'm not really going to talk too much about this because I'm going to link my mascara tutorial using this as my secret weapon. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this and I thought it was just widely known, but some people are just discovering it. It is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. Excuse the glare. It's the kind with the quadrants of green, yellow, pink, and blue. I love this. I use it on a small stipple brush and set my under eye concealer. Or um, sometimes if I'm extra shiny, I will um, do like the forehead and all of that. You just swirl them together. And I love it for setting under eyes. And this little baby is $3. My Mr. Sister. <laughs> Mr. Sister. Got me this brush for Christmas. And first of all, it says Roll Tide. Oh my gosh. Kristen Game, you need a Packers one. I know you do. Um, but it's a bell brush. And I... Confession. I've never used a flat paddle brush before. I love it on my hair. And I'm just going to brush it because I'm going to wash it tonight. But um, I love how soft and silky it makes it. I love drying my hair with this brush. I love it. So not only is it adorable, but it's a very good brush. I didn't really paint my nails a whole lot in January. January was kind of crazy. So that's why I'm doing my favorites in February. But anyway, um... A favorite nail product of mine, and it has been for quite some time. It's the Revlon Gentle Cuticle Remover. I love this stuff. I use my hands a lot. I wash dishes. Um, in the summertime, I garden, and my cuticles can look like a lumberjack. Um, if you've ever seen a lumberjack's cuticles, you might know what I'm talking about. This stuff, combined with you know pushing them back, or if you want to clip them, whatever you do, I highly suggest using this with it. It um, is amazing. My sweet, sweet friend Kristen Game sent me a text and she said, help, I need an awesome chocolate cake recipe. So I went to my go-to standard sour cream chocolate cake recipe and it's got a frosting recipe with it. It is just a go-to, old-fashioned, super moist, nothing fancy. It's your basic old-fashioned chocolate cake, and I'm going to list that recipe below. I don't know if I got this from somewhere. I don't know if it's a hodgepodge of more than one recipe, which I tend to do. Um, I'm not really sure, but it is one of my go-tos for basic chocolate cake. So I'm definitely going to put all the ingredients and directions down below. Speaking of yumminess, for Christmas, I got a subscription to Cook's Illustrated. Oh, my God. This magazine is quintessential for any type of cook, chef. I'm a chef, and I still find things in this book. The section where they do the tips and tricks, and they have all these drawings... This is worth the price of this subscription or cover price alone. It's amazing, and they not only teach you how to cook, but why it does what it does, which is what we really delved into in culinary school. Um, when, you, when you cook a piece of protein, why does it do what it does when you're cooking? What exactly does that do to that? Just like when you um, roast a potato or, let's say, uh, roast carrots, and parsnips in the oven, why do they caramelize? Because once you know the why, then you can really put your own spin on things and the sky's the limit. And it, that way, cooking isn't scary to you because you know the science behind it. Cooking is science and creativity. And this book, this magazine is amazing. I love it. I highly, highly, highly recommend it to anyone who's a foodie. Um, even if you are a great cook, you, there are so many things you can learn from every issue of this. Cooks Illustrated. This is kind of a boring toiletry, but it's my Holy Grail toothpaste. That would be Sensodyne Pro Enamel. And it looks crazy because I use those little slider things to get every last drop because I'm just weird like that. Uh, my dentist is very much for this and um, because it does really help strengthen the enamel, enamel, mm, enamel on your teeth. 
because once it's gone, it really is gone, and there's nothing a dentist or anyone else can do to bring that back. So the best thing you can do for your teeth, besides flossing, floss, is to help strengthen your enamel and help reduce enamel erosion. So, dentist spiel over for today. I wear glasses, and... <laughs> I don't wear them every day. Sometimes I switch up and do contacts. But I found this little guy at an estate sale. He's a little hound doggy. And his sole purpose is to hold my glasses. Now look, it's not going to do it right. There he goes. Ah, ah! Look at that. I'm going to scooch up a little bit to do my lip favorite for January. It's the combination I have on right now. And uh, I bought another Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this is in the color Precious. Because I have honey like everybody else does. And I loved it. But I was, honestly, I was a little bit chicken to try some of the bolder colors. So, something I'm working on. I'm working on it. So, but I found a way to make this work. Um, I put down a layer of this and then I go over it with Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet and then I blot and then I go over it again. This is just Precious. This is just Red Velvet but this is Red Velvet sandwiched between Precious so it is a Precious Red Velvet cake and I love it and since it is sandwiched between the balm stains it really really lasts quite a while. I can go all day and I drink a lot of water and I drink coffee and stuff, so I can go all day, and this looks um, this looks good. And I think also because you're layering products, it doesn't wear off funky where it's just, you know, wearing off in the middle, and then you have, like, the dark ring. Okay, guys, those were my favorites for January. I hope you had fun and saw some things that maybe are your favorites or could be new favorites to you. If you try something or if you see something that was already a favorite, please let me know. If you have a channel and you do a January Favorites, feel free to link it as a video response. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Dynamite! Busha, busha, busha. I could stack all these up on one finger and uh, really show you what I think. It's weird, all on one finger. I feel like one of those... I feel like a salesman in New York City, like, yo, want to buy some rings? Shh. Like I'll, like, flash open my overcoat, and it'll have Rolexes and stuff. I don't, do people really do that? I think I've seen too many movies.